Hi everyone, this is Gokul. Welcome to the new session of Python programming. In this session, let me walk through on how you can learn and make use of exception in Python. I will focus some of the important aspect of exception handling in this session. So we'll focus why need exception, what are the exceptions, process of exception handling and the practical approach towards the exception handling. Now starting with the introduction of exception, what is exception and why we use an exception in a Python? So exception is an event which occurs during the execution of program. So it will interrupt the normal flow of the program instruction. The exception in Python raises an error. So when it raises an error, the interpreter stops the current process. There are various blocks to handle the exception. So try block is to test the code for an error. Except block is to handle the error and finally execute the code regardless of the result. Now let us start the discussion through the coding how we can handle the exception in a python now we will start with the exception first we will understand the difference between syntax error and exception as a word syntax error it means that the error is caused by the wrong syntax in the code so it leads to the program termination so first we will discuss that let it be if i use a variable let's say val having a certain value let's say 2000 and if i write a certain line of code if val is greater than 5000 and just I write the print statement let's say value is greater value is greater and just I save the code and I compile it it will give us an error that is an invalid syntax so here I use incorrect syntax of the if condition that's why the error is a syntax error so this is the error syntax error that is raised in the program so talking about the exception, exceptions are raised when a program is syntactically correct but the code result an error. So it is not stop the execution of program but it changes the normal flow of the program. Now we will see that how it will change the flow of program. So just I uncomment, just I remove this code and I just write one more variable let's say val is equal to 3000 and here I write a certain statement I want to do a certain operation a result is equal to val divided by 0 and then I just print the result result now what will happen I just save the code and compile it you will find there is a division by 0 either so this is an exception that is raised by this code syntactically the code is correct there is no syntax error in the program but it will give an error that is 0 division error so this is kind of an exception which will interrupt the normal flow of the program and that we have to trace it out through the certain block. So exception is a base class for all the exceptions in Python like name error, zero division error, floating point error, overflow error, memory error and so on. So we will discuss one by one exception error in their type and how to tackle that exception in the program through the example. Now we will take one example a equal to b. Here I am not going to assign any value for b and just assigning the value of b to the a. So that is an incorrect. So I just save the code and I compile it. I will get a one more type of error that is name error. Name bay is not defined. So I have to trace it out this exception or the type of error that is generated by the program. So here we can use a try catch block to trace out the error. So what we will do? We will use a try block. Try block and we are going to handle that error. So here I will write a code to be executed. Code to be executed. And what sort of code here I want to execute? Let it be this is the code that I want to execute here a equal to b. And I know that there is a name error because b is not defined. So I am going to generate an exception by using accept keyword. So accept and it will generate an exception. So what sort of exception I am going to print the message that some issue in the code. The code. Just I save the program and I execute it. So here I get an error, some issue in the code. But here it will not print the actual exception that is a name error. Because I am writing a own message of, in the print statement that is some issue in the code. So how to handle that exception or how to raise that name error exception. So as I said exception is a class so we can write the exception class under the except, exception is a class and under that class we can apply with ex and we can print the message so I just 
command this print statement and here I write the exception ex so that exception has been raised and it will give us an error so I save the code and compile it let's say name b is not defined so in this way we can generate an exception through the try and accept block so try and accept block in the try block we are going to execute the code that you want to execute and if it run, generate any exception that has been handled by the accept block and under the accept block there is an exception class which consists of all kind of exceptions that are available in a python and we can handle it all the type of exception in the further discussion now we will take one more example to understand the exception so i'll take one more try block under the try block we will take one of the list let's say x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so this is my list which consists of five element in a sequence and just i want to print that list with a specific index suppose i want to print the list of the first index element and also i want to print the list x with the eighth index which is not available in the list but i am trying to print it that element which is not available in the list but i am trying to print it so what exactly the error is been generated and that we are going to handle under the except law and we know that exception is a class which consists of all kind of exceptions so we are going to create an exception object and using that we can print the message so what i need to be print i just going to print first some issue in the code i don't know what sort of issue in the code so just i print the message i'm not going to print the exception message so i just save the code and compile it i'll get some issue in the code so first of all it will print the first index element zero index element is one first index element is two so two is going to be print first and then when i try to print the eighth index element which is not available in the list and i'm trying to print it so it will generate an exception and this message has been printed some issue in the code but if i don't want to print this message and i want to print the exception message to the end user so i just need to be right here print ex so system generated exception will be print and i save the code and compile it and get a message two is the first index element but this index element is not available at eight index so it will print list indexes out of range so what are the element we are printing which is out of the range and we are not going to print that element we can add more than one exception or except block in the program now we will see that multiple except block in the program now we will take one more example let's say try uh, x equal to y i am going to assign the value of y to the x but y is not defined so i am going to trace it out this error exception and you know that's a name error so we are going to handle this with the help of exception class name error and i am going to print that exception i want to use a multiple exception block so except this is by default and i just want to print some issue in the code so first it will check whether any name error is there in the program if it is there then it will print that message otherwise it will print the final except block that is some issue in the code so just i save the code and I compile it you can find name y is not defined so name error is been traced out and that is going to be handled by the name error exception so in this way multiple exception block we can add in the program as soon as we can add the else statement after the except block how to do that now we will see this how to add the else block in the program so we will take one more example here to understand else block functionality so i just command this code and i'll take the example here i use a try block and within that try block i just use certain print statement let's say welcome to python session and within that i am going to use the except block so except block is going to print certain exception if it is there so i am going to print some issue in the code this is the exception first i write and if it is though no exception then it enter into the else block and it will print nothing is wrong in the program so likewise we are going to add the else block in the exception code so first we will use the code to be executed in the try block then if it is any ex exception 
that has been raised in the exception block and finally else statement is going to be executed so i just uh, see the code and compile it so it will print the message welcome to python session because this is the correct statement in the try block and there is no exception has been raised so this will not going to be executed and finally else block is being executed nothing is wrong in the program so anything that i want to print after the execution of program we can add into the else block so that that is going to print after the except statement coming towards the next block that is final the final block if specified will be executed regardless of the try block raise an error or not so if any error or no any error in the program then also that final block is going to be executed now we will see the functionality of the final block through the example so i just comment this example now and we'll see this next functionality of the final block so we'll use one more try block and within that we will assign a equal to b and if any exception exception is going to be handled and we are going to print some issue in the code so this is the kind of exception we are going to handle in the exception block and finally we are going to print a statement try except block is finished so in this way we can add a finally block there is no any impact of try and except block on the finally block regardless it execute after execution of the function execution of the code so i just save the code and execute it now there is a some issue in the code definitely because b is not been defined so there is an issue in the code we can also handle by using the specific exception and finally it will print try and exit block is finished so finally is execute every time when you execute your code regardless of try and exit block so hope you understand this try exception finally the last and important last and very important term is raise an exception how to raise a user defined exception in the exception handling so we can throw our exception if particular condition is occur if you don't know the name of the exception and we have to add it certain exception we can raise that exception through the raise keyboard now we'll see through the example how to raise that exception so first i just comment this code and now we will use raise block raise an error so raise an error how to raise an error in the program so we can raise an error like uh, first i declare the variable let's say x is equal to minus 1 uh, i write a condition if that x is less than 0 x is less than 0 what should be happen so it will be a raise an error so raise is a keyword which will raise an error so what kind of error it will raise it will raise an exception and what sort of message i want to raise that number is less than 0 number is less than 0 so this is the message that i want to be raised after the execution of this code so i just uh, execute the code and that will be raise an exception number is less than 0 so it will raise that exception after the execution of this so hope you understand that how to handle the exception in a python programming so summary of this topic or session is that we first understand what is syntax error and the exception then we will write the exception using try and accept block once we raise an exception in a try block then that has been handled through the exception class there are many exceptions are there in a python like name error index error zero division error are there and many more are there and we can handle that exception through the name as well through the exception class then we can add a multiple except block in a program we can add a finally block and then we can raise our own exception through the raise keyword so hope you understand every terminology still if you have any doubt you can write in the comment section i hope you like the content or i save your time Please support the video by sharing with your friends. If you not subscribe my channel yet, then please do subscribe and press the notification bell icon to get the latest information. Thanks for watching this video.